previously on Mile High. Oh, have a mercy. Sorry, everyone. I'm enjoying the reception too much. Well, welcome aboard, Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. <laughs> if you have this abortion, you will regret it for the rest of your life, please. It's like murder, you know. Luna, how dare you judge me, you interfering cow! No! I'm not just sex on tap for whenever a woman feels randy. <laughs> It's not what you think. I'm going to be a father. It wasn't Dan's. It was Mike's. What? Ladies, this is what I was telling you about. <laughs> We've got booze and this porn for the outbound flight. Those poor buggers are going to be out there for six months without any home comforts. Oh, seems a bit unfair on the female soldiers, though, if there are any. Ah, don't worry. We cater for them, too. Oh, my God! Oh, <laughs> fabulous. Oh, thanks for swapping me onto this lady. It's probably just what I need. Girls, we're gonna make a fortune today and phone numbers galore. And best of all, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can know, have boarding cars on this flight so they can sit anywhere they want. But if they're cute, or they look like they've got money to spend, zoom to the back near the gear. All the mingers, and of course the officers, up front. <laughs> Here they come. Mm. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Eight. Out of ten? Oh. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Right. To the back, please. Morning, sir. Four. Uh, it's just a seat right here. Thank you. Morning. Morning. Good morning, sir. Hello. Oh, oh, 11. No, 12. Bagsy. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome. This way. Oh, shit. What? It's Corky, the CEO. What's wrong with him? Put it this way, I'd want to slice off my ass and sit in vinegar and have that man anywhere near me. <laughs> Good morning, Major Corkland. Have we met? Frankfurt, last year? Yes, of course. Delightful to see you again, my dear. Hmm. Yeah. Nona? Are you sure the Major to a seat, please? We've reserved you a very special seat, sir. Just at the front of the aircraft here. Thank you. I haven't seen you before, have I? Um, no, sir. I only joined Fresh a couple of months ago. I thought so. I remembered a girl like you. Oh. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to this very special Fresh flight to Kosovo. Your crew this morning are myself, Leanne, Lorna, and the lovely Rachel. We're here to make your trip as enjoyable as possible, so if there's anything at all that we can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Janice, what? Is your pay slip okay? Only I'm down 100. Disaster. No commission for Athens or Geneva. Well, that can't be right, but we're frantic on Geneva. What about yours, Ed? Nothing. Look at this. No, 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 no. They've upped our commission. How can we possibly be earning less? Because they conned you like they always do. Look at the small print. Old contracts we're making 10% on anything we sold, so... Yeah, and the new ones give us 15. I don't if you reach your sales targets. Missing by even one penny and you get sod all. Oh, come on. Union's got to be able to do something about this. Oh, yeah, right. Our only decent union rep was Will, and he's gone over to the other side. Yeah, OK, so what are you suggesting we do? Well, it's every man for himself. Always has been. 
Oh, she's saying we should nick. Oh, that is such crap. It's not just the airline he's stealing from, you know, it's the rest of us. Well, what's your solution, then? Well, let the union deal with it like they're supposed to, and in the meantime, we'll work as hard as we can and we'll reach the targets. Bollocks to that. I'm desperate. We're all struggling. Are you two months behind with the payments on a tick job, Janice? <laughs> People, if I don't find a grand by next week, the clinics say they're going to repossess them. You're joking. I wish I was. So grand by next Friday, or goodbye to the best pair of breasts this airline's had to offer. Tea or coffee, sir? Or perhaps, uh, Irish coffee? Now you're talking. How much? Five pounds a double. Give us two. We've also got some other stuff to keep you guys going whilst you're in KFA. Back of the aircraft, magazines, chocolates, alcohol. Nice one. The problem is, can't move without his permission. Senior commanding officer. Well, what if you guys want to go to the toilet? I have to ask his permission. Well, go on then. Sir! Permission to go to the toilet? Permission granted. Eastern fantasy or a bulging babes man? Fuck me. Well, we cater for most tastes. We've some uh, things for sale at the rear of the aircraft. Permission to go to the toilet, sir. Another one. Permission granted. Rach, go and talk to Nigel. Get him to invite the Major up. Buy us a bit more time. Why do I have to do it? Because he fancies the arse of you. Now, come on, we're making good money here. Well, if it isn't the lovely Rachel, what can I do you for? Major Corklin's expressed an interest in seeing the flight deck. Is it OK if I show him through? You mean, can we keep him occupied while you get up to no good back there? That would make me an accomplice to a crime, wouldn't you say, Tim? Yep. It would just be for a few minutes. We'd really be helping us out. Tell you what, you let me buy you a drink later and you're on. Lovely. you a drink to while you're in flight deck, Major? No, thank you, dear. Ready, ladies? Anything take your fancy, lads? Miniatures, anyone? Scotch? Gin? Bodies? What can I get you? A smile. Sorry? I'll pay you a fiver to see a smile on your face. And why would you want to do that? Because I've been watching you since I got on. And I want to see you smile for once. I'm not taking your money. You're mad. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people say that. <laughs> Treat you to a coffee, seeing as you're skint. Not even gonna get flight allowance today, stuck on bloody standby. Are they really gonna, um... I mean, how would they...? I'm not planning on finding out. You had the right idea. Screw the airline, cos they screw us. I bet you know exactly how. Looks like normal mineral water, right? Right. White rum, gin, vodka. A customer asked for a large gin and tonic, say. They're paying cash. I'm at the back with a bottle. Five in my pocket. How much do you make from that? Well, it might be 20, maybe 60 pound a day. Is that all? Well, I've, um, I've got an internet site. Flog and host these uniforms. It's, um, it's a fetish thing. Two grand to go. Now you're talking. Can I do that with you? Well, I, I, I don't make a sale every day. It's um, specialist stuff. Look, I'll make you a deal. You save them, and they're yours for the rest of the month. <laughs> Serious? Do what you like with them. Well, um. I've got this scam I'm working on with the caterers. It's, uh... What, flogging leftover bagels? Don't mock. Seriously big. Can it also be seriously fast? All right, Cole. Oh, all right. This is Jackie Randall, a business partner of mine. Hi, Colin. Jack's told me so much about you. What have you said? 
No, 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 no. Jackie's cool, mate. Trust me. I'm going to do the trolley scan with her. I want to show her how it's all done. If that's OK. Trucks come through here from the aircraft with the trolleys that get used on the flights. Containing the stock that hasn't been sold. You know the little yellow seals we have on front of the trolleys to stop anyone nicking from them? Huh? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Well, me and Jack, we've invented this. So, I can slip off the seal without it breaking, open up the trolley, take what I need, reseal it, and no one knows it's been tampered with. You clever boys. So then you flog us the next stuff and we sell it on flights. And the purses never catch on because it looks like we're selling genuine fresh stock. There's no flies on this one. We're going to give it a trial run next week. What about tomorrow? No, it's too soon. Is there nothing I can do to persuade you? Perhaps we could go somewhere a little more private? Yeah, we're on standby. What if we get called? Oh, I want you, baby. I want you. Keep smiling, eh? I hope it goes all right for you. This is what you turn in. Levin's up. It's not my type. A bit of love. See you later, darling. Bye. Oh, he's got us like two boiled eggs and a hanky. <gasps> Did we do well or what? Oh, nice one. Right, get set up for the next lot. We can make more than double this on the way home. Sorry, ladies. ATC have just radioed. Fighting's broken out in the area and we're grounded. Well, for how long? The last time it happened, we were here for a week. Jesus. Is this it? Oh, my God. I think I became a hostie for the glamour. Welcome to the officer's mess, my dears. This will be your home while you're with us. Not exactly four star. Our contracts say we should have rooms with en suites. <laughs> you're in the army now, my dear. Bathrooms are this end of the corridor. And... This room's yours, my dear. This room's yours. Why don't I leave you all to freshen up? Dinner's at seven. This way, gentlemen. Some of them haven't seen a woman in years. Well, don't worry. I'll look after you. What now? You're the expert on these things. Yeah, well, maybe I was just lucky, but I've never had to get on a plane before. Well, I've been to military dinners before. Food like cardboard, weird rituals, and a bunch of sad middle-aged men trying to play footsie with you under the table. Mm -hmm. There must be some way out of here. I don't think so. In your own time? Colin and I have got an even better plan. Oh, right. You know, we normally fly with two full carts and one surplus empty for ballast. Yeah. Well, Colin's agreed to fill the surplus cart as well. That's an extra grand's worth of goods for us to sell. But I want paying up front for all three carts. I sort of seem down to a hundred apiece. Jack? What, you want me to cough up 300 quid right now? What would you say? You've got to speculate to accumulate. 300 to make three grand? And you get your money back straight off the top. OK. But how's it going to work? Are you going to drive the truck to the aircraft, Carl? Supplying the goods, that's as far as I go. Driving, loading them on, oh, that's your business. No, no, don't look at me. I'm the brains man, it's not the brawn. And I still don't think we should rush into it this fast. And you know I don't have any choice. OK, Carl, here's what's going to happen. You leave the goods on one of the vehicles and give me the spare keys. 
I'll find some muscle junk stud to do the heavy work. I'll give you a little spray. It's lovely. And this is actually a unisex fragrance, Ed. Ooh, that is fabulous. Even better on him than it is on me. <laughs> she next on your list. Because she'll love anyone. Oh, look. Toilets are free if you want to get down to it. Poppy, please. You know we had something good. And you want to throw it away over one mistake. The mantra of cheating men everywhere. Do you mind? Sorry, ladies. Find another loop, please. Oh. Right then. I'll sit here all night if I have to. What do you want? Another shag, I suppose. I kind of had one for, oh, all of six hours. I just want to talk to you, OK? <sighs> How's this going to work? We're needing roster together tomorrow. Rosters can be changed. And if we're just going to sell hooky stock, the rest of the crew need to be in on it. So? Well, come in. There must be people we can trust. What about your sister? I'm involved in Poppy. Why not? This thing is foolproof. She was moaning louder than anyone about the missing commission. You couldn't change her roster as well. Scams like this are complicated. You can't just rush into it. Babe, stop worrying so much. Seriously, your brains, my assets. We should have teamed up years ago. We'd be rich by now. You really think so? Going to the airport bar. I'm going to buy you a drink and I'm going to sit there for exactly one hour in the hope that you come to your senses. Some more wine for the young ladies, Lorna. The night is young. Oh. No, really. We don't know when we're going to fly again, so we can't go over the limit. Doesn't seem to bother your captain here. Yeah, it never does. <clears throat> You're uncommonly tall for a girl. I don't mean that in any bad way, my dear. There's nothing like it when a woman carries it well, as you do. What size shoes are those? Um, seven. Why? Awfully sorry to hear about you and Dan. If you ask me, he's an idiot. If at any point you want a shoulder to cry on, then, um, I'm right here. Right. Well, it's been a long day, girls, and uh, we could be clear to fly at any moment, so I hope we should go back to our rooms. It's only 8.30. Thank you very much for the meal. Are you sure we can't tempt you with a glass of port? Look, no. Gentlemen. It's just us men. <clears throat> what the hell's that? A little after-dinner tradition of ours. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a good sport, Captain Crocker. Care to join us? <laughs> Bunch of leery old tossers. Oh, Croker was totally in his element. He kept trying to put his hand on my knee. Yeah, hello, and the major on mine. <laughs> oh. Curse of the wandering hand. Middle aged man thing. Trying to pretend that it's fatherly, but you know, they're just trying to cop a feel. Mm. Well, at least he didn't try this one. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, that always accidentally goes. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Corky keep looking at me in that way? Keep asking me all personal stuff about my shoe size. And... Shh. What's going on? It's 11.30. <laughs>
seven out of ten scut with the arse. Hey, you fancy coming out? Where? I don't know, anywhere. Come over. God, this is like sneaking out the school door. <gasps> is it? Oh, there's a bug is up to you now. <laughs> It's a mess tradition. I've got no clothes on. Yeah, it's always played naked. My father was in the army. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, just the man I was looking for. Well, this is just what I need. Uh, actually, that's somebody else's. Well, if she's daft enough to leave good booze and a cute man unattended. What do you want, Jackie? Now, I know you missed a policeman in waiting, but you wouldn't grass on mates who are desperate, would you? You know my views on looking from the airline. And you know mine on going back to a 34A. Come on, Ed. I took in you and your mates when you needed a place to stay. Yeah. Jack Fields and me have got something going down on the Baal sectors tomorrow. I've rostered you to be with us. All you have to do is turn a blind eye and we'll give you 10% on everything you make. It's what the airline owe you anyway. Look, even if I keep my own mouth shut, what about the other crew? The other crew member is Jack's sister. I just don't understand why you're going partners with that tart when you could be doing this with me. Well, you know, we're a good combination. I think up scam, she talks people into doing them. She can be very persuasive. By flashing those ridiculous tits, you mean? Don't knock it, it works. Anyone can end up a few buttons or flash a bit of leg. I could. <laughs> what, you? That's funny. I'll leave it to the professional, sis. You ain't that type of girl. Thank God. Jackie! I see. Poppy. But well, wait! <laughs> that is not what it looks like. Male mantra number two. Just piss off, and this time don't ever talk to me again. Yeah. <laughs> right, everybody, Phil here's going home tomorrow. We have to drop a drink for over six months. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey. I'm right. Ben, by the way. Rachel. Yeah, nice to see you. Oh, of course. <laughs> Do you want to go outside? A bit of peace. Sounds good. So, were you involved in real fighting in Iraq? That's the job, really. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, did you actually... Kill anyone. First question civilians always ask. And? Yeah. Two, I think. The first was a classic him or me situation. The second, I'm not quite sure. He was a very young lad. Hope he got away. How do you cope with it? Well, the idea of killing. Hmm. It's hard. After I killed a bloke, I couldn't sleep for days. Nightmares. And all about me. About how I nearly died. About him. Who he was. Was he married? Did his mum know he was dead? So how do you cope with that? Well, life's full of bad situations, isn't it? Gotta move on, put it out your mind or else you go mad. I guess so. <sighs> Words gone round about the party. Then. <sighs> Just come to get my stuff, Rachel said she'd be away. They're all away. Have a drink. No, I shouldn't really. You don't have a drink with me. Okay. Just the one, yeah? <coughs> <laughs> Do you 
Jesus, what did you put in this? Aviation fuel? Do you think all men are unfaithful shits? That's harsh. I think women can be just as shitty as men. Why is it that the shittiest people get the most sex? I'm not sure that's true. Do you think I should get a tit job like Jackie Wendell? I should go. No, wait. I've got something for you. Get him. Poppy, don't. Why not? You've got no one. I've got no one. You don't really want this. It's the booze talking. <sighs> you mean you don't want it? I really have to go now. I should call Poppy. I'll go to the flat. When my sister's in a mood like that, it's no point trying to talk to her, trust me. Just let her calm down. She'll love you tomorrow, when she makes all that lovely money. Did you find out the call sign? Yeah, Golf Tango Echo. It'll be on Stand 5 Charlie. Perfect. That's right next to the catering hangar. You'll only have to drive that hoist thing a couple hundred yards. Do you want me to come with you? Too many of us would make them suspicious. Hey, you're the brains, remember? We'll see you tomorrow at the briefing. Come on, Stas, let's go home. Sorry. Hey, look, maybe we should calm things down a bit. Oh, it's fine. Everyone's behaving. Come on. It's the last bit of fun Joe's going to get in the next six months. This is my party. Why don't you give me a go to tour? I always fancy sitting in the captain's seat. I always fancy doing it in the captain's seat, you know? Oh, I can't. Why not? You like me, I like you. My happiest time being a kid. I always remember one Saturday morning, don't know why, lying in the front room watching the TV upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Live and kicking. That was Zoe Ball. She was the first girl I fancied. I was only ten. Ten? How old are you now? Eighteen. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> MPs. Military police. I should warn them. Too late. Would you like a drink? Switch that bloody thing off! thought of you in that flat on your own. Listen, if Golden Boy's messing you around, you just say the word and I'll have him. I could, you know. Where he is? He went off with Jackie hours ago. They've got a bit of warehouse first thing. Listen, you'll feel much better tomorrow with 200 quid in your pocket, yeah? Well, 
You sleep tight. Yeah. You too. Security, please. Are you the right person to talk about people putting stolen goods on fresh flights? Yes, Sergeant. It's happening first thing tomorrow morning. Where's your rock and roll? What's all this for? Today, Matthew, I'm going to be Jacqueline Randall, stock purchasing manager for Fresh. Doing a dorm raid to check our staff haven't been nicking. Here, put that on. Why? Because you're going to be Ed Russell, warehouseman and driver. You what? Well, how else do you think we're going to get the vehicle through customs checks? Just got to hope they don't look too closely at your ID. Wait a minute, you never said anything about this. Think about it. Two hosties driving a catering van. You're gonna know something's up. I can't get caught doing this, and that's when police clear down the toilet. I'm sorry, but no way. You can't change your mind now. It's all set up. Who else am I gonna get? Fine. You can pack your things and get the fuck out of my flat. Jack two to Jack one. My knight in shining armour. Right. The cart's already loaded. I reckon we've got about ten minutes to get through customs and onto the aircraft before this whole place is teeming. Drive to the gate and I'll meet you at customs. <gasps> Where are we? God knows. I've been in Kosovo as long as you are. We're not going to get a shot, are we? I hope not. That's right. There's only one way to find out if it's electrified. This is where I leave you. Mesh is that way. Thanks. You led my men off. Oh, come on. We don't need any leading on. Can't we just forget it? It was an unfortunate incident. This is my base, and I'll give the appropriate disciplinary action. Yes, but they happen to be my crew. This is an army matter. Please leave. I have to say, I find this incident totally outrageous. Why on earth the British Army should continue to use fresh for these flights is beyond me. OK, and... Corky. Let's cut the crap, shall we? I'm sorry. No? Come on. We know what you want. So let's get to it. Lorna, honey. Take off your uniform. What? Just do it. Doing. 
Who's gonna know about this except you and me? that cabbage leaf off the floor. No! Ah! This bit here has not been scrubbed. Get to it, soldier! Sorry. Faster, faster, faster! Yes, sir. Or well, you will have to be punished. Rachel? Rachel, we've got clearance to go home, but we've got to go now. OK, I'm on my way. It's okay for you here. Cheers. <laughs> Think of me in the middle of winter when you're flying off to somewhere hot. Rachel. What? You've got the best smile in the world. Stay happy. Roasting for five in the morning. It's all that hard labour. Works up a sweat. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Whew. Two down, one to go. Just think, each trolley's worth a grand in profit. Shit. What are they doing here? Oh, they won't be for us, don't worry about it. Come on. Jack, they are coming here. Well, for quite sake, let's get the trolley on before they see us, yeah? Yeah, we've got time. Jack! We can't, we haven't got time! I'll take you, I can't do this on my own! Talk to you before we go into work. But I don't understand. Why won't you with Jackie at the warehouse? I'm not doing it. All right, I'm sorry if that lets you down on top of all the other mistakes you think I've made, but. But, but who's with Jackie? She can't get three cots onto an aircraft on her own. I don't know. Can we not talk about Jackie Randall? I'm not interested in her. You looked interested last night. She practically had her tits in your face. You overreacted. Oh, so now it's my fault. No, it's no one's fault. Look, I was only in the bloody bar because I was waiting for you. She just came in and sat down next to me. All right, well, I've said my piece. Uh, maybe you're just not ready to trust anyone. But I wish you would, Poppy. I wish we could just start over again. You gonna answer that? No one I want to talk to. Hello. Yeah, she's here. Who's this? You gotta take this call. It's the hospital. Poppy Fields. It's not my 
info. You sit here and find out what's going on. Surgery. They've got to operate him right away. Jack, wake up. Look at me, please, babe. You're going to be fine. I'm so sorry. You're going to be all right. It's my fault. I've not been with anyone that young since I was at school. <laughs> well, he's obviously doing something right. I haven't seen you this happy in ages. Yeah, well. Come on, then. Did you get his phone number? It wasn't like that. <sighs> oh, Major Corkland, what class A perf? You need to wear my knickers as well. I forgot to buy my uniform off me. He said it was two grand on the internet. Well, so that. We must have made over half that flirting with these thirsty soldiers. Come on, let's count up. Leanne. Yeah. Come on. Yep. I have some bad news. Jack Fields has had a rather serious accident. And he's in a coma. They're paging standbys for you. Why? What happened to my crew? We were hoping you could tell us that. What do you mean? Well, Jack Fields, rostered onto the Baal sector suddenly last night, is now in hospital with a fractured skull after falling from the aircraft that should have taken him there. His sister, also rostered to Baal at the last minute, is with him, as is Ed Russell, also rostered to Baal at the last minute. I get the message. Would you like to tell me what went on this morning? Why would you think I'd know? Because Customs told police that a young woman late 20s brunette, calling herself a stock purchasing manager, went airside at 5.30 onto that stand. But just to let you know, Fresh don't have a stock purchasing manager. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, we're late. So let's get going. I'll brief you on the way to the aircraft. I thought this would be a crime scene. Apparently not. Police only spent half an hour on board. Right, now I know we're all shaken up about Jack, but we have four sectors to complete today, so mine's on the job. Estelle, flight deck drinks. Christine, check the overheads. Do you want me to check the crate room? No, I'll do it. Please, sir. Simon, can you check if we have any more focus, please? Madam, can I get you anything from the trolley? The eau de toilette is £35 or €48. Euros. <sighs> How long do you think they'll be? There's no way of telling. He definitely smiled at me. I know what you think he does is bad, but he's good at heart. <laughs> when he was four, he cut off my hair because he didn't want me to go to the hairdressers. <sighs> Wanted me to stay and play. Sure, look, why don't, why don't you come and sit down? <sighs> Always the naughty one, and I was as good as gold. <sighs> Perfect puppy. I'm, uh, sorry, Jack. Never regained consciousness. He did regain consciousness. He smiled at me. She needs 
to do this. People have different ways of dealing with things. Can you look at that? Get out of yourself. I don't think you can talk to me like that anymore, Janice. You certainly do have a lengthy curriculum vitae. Pardon? Is it hot in this office or is it just me? Oh, yes. Coming up next on Sky One. A real blast from the past. Catch up with this week's episode of the 1970s Office. While over on Sky Travel, we get an Aussie makeover. This is what you expected. It's actually quite down market more than I thought it would be. Yeah. The Aussie invasion is next. Oh,